Okay, so here's just a wee simple demonstration, guys, to uh, try and impress a point upon you. Uh, I just have a wee light bulb here, 12 uh, automotive light bulb. Got it running at the nominal 12.6 static voltage, right? And you can see it's drawing two amps. So about 25.2 watts that little lamp is uh, actually generating or consuming. So that's fine, right? But all's no quite as it seems here. I've actually got just a half ohm, 100 watt, half ohm resistor in series here. So the way I've got my meter set up here, guys, take my word for it. That is dropping 1.1 volt. So is robbing the system of 1.1 volt and of course dropping the amount of power output from the lamp, right? So let me just swap my meter here, swap the leads. Disregard the uh, polarity guys. It's just going to read the differential across the uh, lamp So the lamp instead of getting 12.6 is getting 12.54 11.54 as you can see So it doesn't sound significant But in fact it is significant Let me just show you here. So again, all I'm going to do is jump at the uh, I'm just going to jump across the uh, uh, resistor here just to actually show you the and I won't show you the lamp directly or maybe I will we'll see can you see the difference in intensity of the lamp there that's with 0.5 of an ohm right so you see a bit of rust in a in a lamp uh, holder or a, a ground or something like that and you think ah it's nothing you know this is this is half an ohm resistance and look at the difference in intensity of the lamp Big difference, right? Look at the difference in power consumption. So with a resistor in situ, with it with the circuit integrity in place, we go up almost almost a hundred milliamps, right? So ninety milliamps. So let's just do the math on this to see the uh, the difference in wattage again from half an. A ohm. lot of boring math later. Okay, so let's just tolerate the math here for just a second here, guys. So again, with the circuit integrity in place, so a clean lamp holder and ground, we'd have had uh, the 2.09 amps translating to uh, 26.3 watts, yeah? So 26.3 watts, keep that figure in mind. So let's do the calculation where we had the half ohm resistor, again, simulating a bad ground or a lamp rusty lamp holder. Uh, the uh, voltage across the lamp dropped to 11.54 and only 2 amps translating to 23 just over 23 watts again doesn't it really sound like that much of a difference right but let's consider the difference between the two it's a 12.4 percent difference right so if somebody again doesn't really sound like much but if somebody came along and said, oh yeah, by the way, we're dropping your wages 12.4%, all of a sudden that figure sounds pretty significant, right? And when it comes to current flow and the power output of a circuit, it's pretty much the same thing. A small change in resistance value, dropping the wattage in the circuit can make a huge difference. That's that, boys. Cheers.